What's going on gamers? I am back from vacation and none too soon because the Iron Banner is also back in town. But beyond that, there is a ton to talk about. So let's jump into the shout outs. Now I want to give a shout out to King Kai. Yes, the one from Dragon Ball. Christopher Roberts, Kyle Valdez, Louis M, Red Noah 11, and James Cook for also following me on Twitter. So last weekend, I had a big focus on the 8-Bit Salute and the Operation Supply Drop charity stream. Well, how do they do? The goal was to raise over $10,000. Now, the final total after adding in t-shirt sales was actually over $17,000. But with a goal that high, I was a little worried, so I reached out to, of all people, Flame Sword. You know, the one that's sponsored by Red Bull? Asked, could he please help spread a little awareness to his Twitter followers and just whatever else he could possibly do? And he did! Now, how cool is that? Now, as a result, I give you guys a small heads up. The special 12 ounce cans of Red Bull with the Destiny codes on them, they won't be exclusive to just 7-Eleven for much longer. I hear that they will be going into Walmarts as well very soon. Now, in the, just in time for the Taken King to launch. So, if you're like me and you do not have a 7-Eleven around you, but you do have Walmart and the Red Bull distributor in your area sees fit to, you may be able to get those specially marked cans there. So a while back in my own Destiny community, a few people were grappling that the Husk of the Pit was not dropping. Well, Bungie has confirmed that it is an issue and it's one that is being patched in the upcoming month. Now something that has set a lot of people off is the pre-order bonus for some extra themed goodies from Suros. The problem with this is that it is a timed exclusive. Now as a general rule, exclusives just suck. Just guess anyone on Xbox how much they enjoy their Hawkmoon, and the answer is they don't know yet. And that just sucks. I really hope that these Suros guns won't be something that gives an edge in the Crucible, but I don't think that they will, and here's why. Some say that the best weapon for a Guardian is one that they can customize to match their intent. Suros believes in options, weapons that can be repurposed for a variety of combat situations. Suros Talent Grids offers two columns of two stat perks, granting more options for weapon changing stats than any other foundry. The single behavior perk is grounded in the middle of the talent grid for as a focus for the weapon's core potential. If you want a weapon that can flex from close quarters to ranged, quick to powerful, fast handling to hard hitting, all with a swap of a few nodes, Suros. Well, despite these looking like the BMWs of the Destiny gun world, anything that tries to be a jack of all trades tends to be a master of none. Now for that, let's look at Omelon. These are the guns that sound like they will be overpowered at the cost of other stats. Pioneers of Energy Weaponry, Omelon is the first foundry to experiment beyond the world of combustion ballistics. Sporting lighter ergonomic frames, Omelon weapons all start with generous base handling stats to build from. Omelon talent grids focus on behavioral perks over stat customization. Legendary talent grids are the only ones that will offer three perks, one is the first non-scope upgrade, the two is a binary choice in the final column. Perk selections favor perks that are energy based and or go beyond the weapon to interact with the wielder's abilities and status. Now behavioral perks to me sounds like stuff like Battle Runner, Knee Pads, and possibly Icarus. But what's going to be a solid all around performer will be Hake. Building reliable tools for soldiers in the field, Hake values simplicity over intricacy, function over flair. Hake weapons all start with a tightly focused band of stats that don't spike as high or low as other weapon families, granting a solid foundation for growing the weapon. Now, on a Hake talent grid, you'll see a simplified set of scopes that work best for the weapon, front loaded perk nodes, with a stat upgrade option occupying the final column. Hake perk selection is focused on offensive actions and combat tactics. Hake pulse rifles fire a burst of four rounds with the damage adjusted to match the DPS of a three round burst meaning the pulse rounds do less individually, but are equal as a group. The fire time between the bursts, however, would be slightly faster. Now, of the new gun flavors, I like the Hake the most as far as looks. They really remind me of the modern family, specifically the Scar line of weapons. Because I will tell you, Destiny will be a game where you can carry anything from an Old West revolver to today's military guns to stuff from that is super futuristic, and that adds a lot of variety. Well guys, if you like this type of content, just hit the like button, or leave a comment, or if you just want to see more, hit that subscribe button. But as always guys, have a good one.